let's. Uh, what was your mindset without all the other backstory BS going on? What was the fight like for you? Um, it was just a matter. I wanted to get it finished quick. I have a fight next week in Atlanta, so it wasn't a fight I, I could take a lot of damage in. So I knew I needed a submission pretty quick. So I know you're going. Is the next fight amateur? Or is that that's professional? Is, is that yeah. Professional? Capsulate your amateur career if you can just a little bit. Did you do everything you wanted to do? You have the elite title. Is there anything you sort of missed out that you say, hey, this is what I got to step up my game to? Um, no, we're, we're moving along pretty good. I wanted to capture some titles at 170, but, you know, tonight I did compete at 170. I beat one of the champions for an uh, organization down in Myrtle Beach. So that's kind of the same thing for me. So I beat champions in 145, 55, and 70 to end my amateur career. And uh, that's an accomplishment that I wanted to get done before I was headed to the professional level. Anything you want to throw out there to professionals saying, uh, what, what level do you think at by this time next year you're going to be at as, as a pro? Well, this time next year uh, I have to be on the UFC. Uh, so that's there's all. nowhere else to go. you got a great team uh, back in Renegade. you want to thank some of those guys? Oh, I definitely want to thank my team Renegade, obviously. All the guys that I've been working with have, have really helped me step up my game. And uh, also Matt Masters Wrestling. Um, it's just it's just an awesome program, and without those guys, I, I want to be where I am. So. Shane Crenshaw, when are you going to see you? You're going to be a professional. Are you in Atlanta? There you go. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy.